this? No, Merlin, look at the camera. Don't make a little grumpy noises. Look at your camera. This, this is the face of a puppy who keeps waking his mommy up at like one and two o'clock in the morning to go potty because he will not potty before bed. It's a good thing you're cute. <laughs> Offbeat Book Digest tagged me in the Netflix tag like a month ago, but so now I'm finally going to do the Netflix tag starring Merlin as well, I suppose, because he's decided he needs to be held. Question one. Recently watched the last book you finished. A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Moss. This is the only book I read in the month of May. The only book I finished in the month of May. I started, oh, don't do this to me now, it was AC. I'll just talk louder than the AC. Number two. Top picks recommended based on previously read books. I've been recommended the Red Rising trilogy a bunch of times by several different people. I started the first book. Um, I have all three. I have the entire trilogy as audiobooks on my Audible app. I just haven't had the time to listen to those. I've been working so much and those are books I want to actually listen to and pay attention to as opposed to just listening to them for background noise. So um, I hope to get back to those soon because I got a few chapters into the first book and I really enjoyed it. Merlin, I'm putting you down and you're gonna have to be okay with it. Recently added, the last book you bought. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of, the last books I bought were these five books that I got at Half Price Book, but the last books I received are these two books that I ordered on Amazon. And these two are Supernaturally and Endlessly, the second and third book in the Paranormalacy trilogy by Kirsten White. I really enjoyed Paranormalacy. I thought it was a really cute book. So I got the next two books and I'm going to try and finish this trilogy. The last books I got, I'm going to do a haul, but there's five of them. Merlin, you are being so loud. Popular on Netflix. Books that everyone knows about. And I have two answers for this. Uh, one that I read, which was A Court of Wings and Ruin, and one that I didn't read, which was Caraval. And I'm not really interested in reading Caraval because people keep comparing it to The Night Circus, and I didn't like The Night Circus. Comedy, a funny book. I do not have the dust jacket because this is one of the books I had to buy in high school, and that's The Guinea Pig Diaries by A.J. Jacobs. Basically, he's a journalist, and he does l experiments with his life. Uh, he did one called The Year of Living Biblically where he wore robes and sandals and lived as you were supposed to in the Bible for a year and documented it. And in this book he does the, he does um, experiments like chapter one's called My Life as a Beautiful Woman and basically he has this nanny who is having issues in the dating world so he makes her a dating with her permission. He makes her a dating profile online and filters through the guys. So he's getting to see sort of what women who are doing online dating have to like experience with the messages that they get. And it's really funny. Dramas, a dramatic character, everybody, in this book. Animated cartoons on the cover. Geekerella, which I've still not read, still really want to read, just have not had the chance to. Watch it again. A, so my actual answer for this is the Creepy Hollow series by Rachel Morgan. There's six books. There's two different trilogies. The first three books follow one set of characters and then the second three books follow a different set of characters but they are in the same world. Really good. I really enjoyed them. There's drama and romance and action and fairies so right up my alley. Documentaries, a non-fiction book that you recommend. The non-fiction book I recommend is Let's Pretend This Never Happened by Jenny Lawson. This book is really funny. It's one of those memoirs. She's a blogger from Texas, so I relate to her. I under, like, it's funnier to me because I know and I have been to the places she's talking about. This is one of the funniest books I've read in a really long time. It's got really adult and inappropriate humor, so if that's not your thing, maybe don't read this book. But she's got a couple other books that I wanna pick up when I get the opportunity to. Action and adventure. In action packed book, Illuminae and Gemina, which I had to take back to the library, so I don't have that one. But these books, this book is 700 pages, and Gemina is just over 700 pages. And I read both of them in about six hours, seven hours a piece. And oh my gosh, are these such 
wild rides. I don't really like science fiction. It's not a go-to for me. So many people were talking about this and just the way that it's set up was so interesting to me that because it's not a novel. You know what Illuminae is. Everybody knows what Illuminae is by this point. The roller coaster of emotions I went through with this book. I have a whole book talk. Last question. New releases. A new release that I am excited about. The most recent new release that I got excited about was A Court of Wings and Ruin. Upcoming releases that I'm excited about include uh, Throne of Glass 6 will be out in September. I don't remember the name of Illuminae Files Book 3, but that one, I think it's coming out in October. So this was the Netflix tag. It took me about a month to be able to make it after I was tagged, but I do think that I answered all the questions. They're all the ones that I wrote down, so that's it. Um, we're gonna get back to two videos a week here, hopefully now that I'm back and I can not have to stare at Merlin for 24 hours a day to make sure he doesn't do something stupid and hurt himself. Um, he's a little more self-sufficient, independent now. I don't have to hold him all the time so that he doesn't re-injure his back, but what else was I going to say? That's it. I gotta go edit this video so that I can go back to work and I have to make pizza for dinner because I'm an adult and I eat like an adult. Just kidding. This is going to be the second night in a row I've had pizza. Oh yeah, um, all my social media links are down below. I have Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Kick, and Tumblr. And I have Goodreads, so you can read all the books and be best friends. And there's a new thing at the end, on my end screen, that I paid for that I think is real cute. If you like it, let me know. I wanted a cartoon version of myself because I think it's cute. Okay, that's it. Bye, guys. <laughs>